What player would you say you like? Vinicius Junior. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Are you really fun? That is the maddest call. <laughs> in my prime. Piece. In my prime. It, when, yeah, uh, now I am like R9 for Corinthians. Now I'm chubby, cannot run anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of EA FC Pro Full Chemistry, which we were going to call 33 out of 33, but apparently it wasn't catchy enough. It wasn't going to do well on the YouTubes. But this is a show where we're going to do a deep dive into everything FC Pro. So from the league we've just witnessed all the way through to the World Championships, we are going to cover it all. And when I say we, I mean me, FG, and some guests who are way better at playing EA FC24 than us. So I'm laughing my way through this intro because literally FG out the corner of my eye is going, what do you mean? What do you mean? I got 11-0 in weekend league last Sunday. I did get 11-0 last weekend in the weekend league. Thank you, Frankie. Um, you rest that voice for a minute because we've got an interesting podcast to come. We're kicking things straight off from our London studios about the FC Pro Open Finals which has just happened and completed. It's been an amazing nine weeks. So should we get straight into it? We should get straight into it because we are joined by a man who makes me smile and a man who makes me cry <laughs> when I see him praying and kissing trophies. It's PhD and it's Levy David. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate being here. Yeah, now, 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 one, one thing, sorry to interrupt. We're going to speak really slowly for you like you've asked because <laughs> Levy said he's going to help you out as well. Yeah. Um, congratulations. The trophy's behind you. Yeah, thanks a lot. I, I feel very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Levy is here for help. <laughs> yeah, I will help him with English if it's needed. Yeah. Now, obviously, like sitting here is for me also weird because I didn't win the trophy, which obviously was my goal. But the most important thing was winning against Umut, which guaranteed me for the FC Pro on 25 and also the World Championships. And if there's a man who has to win it, obviously my Ajax teammate, Peach Sin, and I think he's the best winner. Very nicely put, Levy. But the tournament for you was very, very good as well, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, obviously we started off in a pretty tough group, you could say. Uh, I think a lot of people argued it, it was the best group. Um, it, I don't want to say it was easy because it wasn't easy, but um, yeah, it was just free-flowing. I think both weeks ended up with 18 points, top of the group. Then I got a special, special, amazing reward, obviously, for playing Umut in the first round. But luckily, I beat him on pens and made the World Championships from there. Now, one person is probably to blame for the draws. I mean, I'm going to blame you for it because you were involved in all the draws. And Plus we, you. We yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll just brain, Fra we'll brain Frankie just on this one, right? Just because they had to smash Anders' ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was probably And you'd probably have to smash anyone's. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, um, yeah. Is that one of your personal highlights? Or? Probably Anders trying to open the ball for the draw, <laughs> yeah. But also, what you both did was pretty unbelievable. We'll start with you. The group of death. Right, when you saw that group and you were like, okay, this is hard, and then you got through the group and you were like, all right, that was pretty hard, and then you saw that you played against number. <laughs> How did you feel? Yeah, obviously, like, I was still happy that I finished first in that group. I already knew I was going to play either Emre, which also is my teammate, and I think if he plays on this level, one of the best, maybe the best player in the world, and obviously Umut, who is a reigning world champion, so there wasn't really a get good choice between the two. Um, yeah, obviously I was feeling confident a lot of people say like if you make it out of a group like that you have a good chance of winning the tournament uh, in the end I lost against Anders on, in the semi-final 4-3 unfortunately but obviously the main feeling is like very very happy because the most important thing as I mentioned before was the world championships and obviously uh, getting myself guaranteed for next year's pro open circuit so but that's Levy, did, did you feel like a front runner growing into the group of death? Because that's a group that Tex was in, as well as Emma, as well as yourself. Uh, that's a good question. He was actually. confident. Look at him. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, I'm, and you need to be confident because if you think you're going to lose, why would you play? And Fuma was in my group as well, which is like a very good friend of mine. Um, he's from French. His English also isn't the be best, but we talk a lot on Snapchat, FaceTime, etc. So we talked about like. Um, us to being able to finish first and second. Then in the end, I knew Obrun last match against Fuma. I don't know why somehow Obrun always managed to make it. So I already felt like a bit sad for him there. But yeah, obviously looking to myself, finishing first in that group was a yeah, big confidence boost. Then yeah, Umut I faced off 
uh, in friendlies a lot. I think two weeks ago we played like 20, 25 games. And I was like, oh, this guy is just a freak. <laughs> and then I think I just played amazing in that game. Um, I think he was maybe quite lucky to went to PKs. Then <laughs> the first penalty, Renzo told me, he had three penalty shooters before. He went bottom left. I did dive bottom left, but my goalkeeper didn't save it. So I was like, here we go. I'm going to lose this. But then when I saved the second one, I was like, I'm into that. I'm going to win this. So I don't know. It was like a roller coaster. But in the end, I think I deserved it. Well, shout out to your team for doing their research because we don't do research like that very much. Well, I don't <laughs> apparently. Yourself, I, 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 yeah. You know, I told Renzo everything he knew, you know. She knew I liked having to know in the weekend league. Last week, we cannot, of course, leave you out here. You have been absolutely amazing. But the first match of the FC Pro finals for you was incredible. And it went down to the last minute. And I think we saw one of the best celebrations with the live audience. <laughs> last chance, Chavella, Mbappe didn't go for it. Still Mbappe. Oh. Do you remember any of that? Yeah, I think it's top game against Abu Maka. Uh, I think it, during the game, I didn't deserve the win. Maybe he had a lot of chance for a score. But yeah, when he missed every chance, I say, if I win this, I will win the trophy, the tournament. And we, I scored the, the goal with Mbappé. I said, yeah, this trophy is mine. I deserve it. So yeah, I'm very happy. Do you think that Abu Maka has been... We would say slept on Piet Sin. So do you think he's been underestimated in this competition? Yeah, I would say yes. But Abu Maka is like also top player. Like top eight in the, in the world. It's impossible not to play. Mm -hmm. And when he, I meet him, I know he's have a lot of patience with the ball. It's so good in the attack. Yeah, but yeah, I feel happy because I win. <laughs> FG, we have sort of started talking about what happened today, but should we just do a quick summary for anyone who is watching on the YouTubes or, or listening? Yeah, go on, man. Do your research. Is. Have you? All oh, right, it? okay. Well, actually, you know, I was going to ask you what your highlights were because I mean, the quarterfinals were unreal. Yeah, they were absolutely incredible. Honestly, like I feel like I don't know what it's like for players, but for us just sitting back and watching, every single game had goals. It had drama. It had last-minute celebrations. It had penalty shootouts. It had literally everything. We thought it would be really, really tight going into the games. It'd be really, really close. But it wasn't like that, was it, Levy? Every game was incredible. Every game was close. Like, if you played on another day, the outcome would have been way different. I think every <laughs> opponent could have won it. I talked about it with Manu straight after my game, Manu Bachora. And he said, this tournament is going to be all-timer. He said the quarterfinals were just amazing. Like, and then obviously you had the semifinals, which he destroyed Emre. I had a close game and then the final again, arguably one of the best finals ever in esports. So I think this tournament was just crazy. Also for me watching, uh, I was ob obviously watching Pietzin and Emre, both my teammates, seeing them win. It's a little bit of pressure on my shoulders, I would say, but I'm used to it because I'm always the one playing the latest for these kind of matches when my teammates are playing as well. But yeah, I felt like amazing. And it also gave me confidence, of course, because I saw them winning and I was like, okay, now's my time to shine. And yeah, I shined. PH then, talking of times to shine, when you scored that winning goal, you knew in that moment that you had won the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But talk to me about the moments before you got that goal. Yeah. Like what was going through your mind? How did you make it happen? Yeah. I heard like when Andres draw against me, he's saying the camera, so bad, so bad. And I can yeah. hear this. And I say, yeah, you will lose for 100%. And when I have the ball in, inside with like uh, Mbappé, I heard like the people, my brother, the people in the, in the, crowd. the, the crowd, he say like, Holland, Holland. And they say, oh, I need to cross. And I did the cross and I scored the goal. They do this for him. <laughs> <laughs> because he deserved I'm not bad I'm better than him it was obviously an amazing moment an incredible incredible moment you've sacrificed a lot to be you moved from South America to play for Ajax how much has Ajax supported you yeah Ajax is one crazy 
Yeah, I, I, sorry, I feel very happy to to play for Ajax. They support me a lot. They give like what I need. I need. So yeah, I really happy with play Ajax. Also with this guy, he's one of the best. So yeah, I'm really happy in Ajax. Has your game improved since you've been playing in the E Divisie? Oof, I can answer that. I don't think it's really because of playing the E Divisie. But obviously, he's been practicing a lot in Europe. And I think, yeah, that helps a lot. Like, we play almost every day, for example. And I would say that in Europe, there are more top-tier players than South America. And he's a grinder as well. He works very hard. So yeah, he just practices a lot. And I could also say, like, at the start, it was really good. But I just see him growing every day. And I think he feels you feel that yourself, right? Yes, right, right. I Were agree. Were you slightly annoyed, though, Levy, when you heard PhD and was moving to your region? No, because I know he was going to be my teammate. <laughs> yeah, like, and now it's really easy to say because I can't wish for a better teammate at the moment. It's literally impossible. And yeah, obviously, I knew I already had some inside information. I knew Manu and Emre were going to team up. So I was like, I need to get someone now to be ready to beat them, you know. And then yeah, it's the perfect answer to that question. You mentioned off camera. So what you said off camera was about a few, <laughs> about a year ago. <laughs> He said to PH Zin, how are you? And he couldn't speak a word of English. He just started laughing. How are you? And he just... <laughs> yeah. Can we just no, have not even to answer. say, he's not just good on the, on the virtual pitch. He's learned English that quickly. That is incredible. You've dedicated so much to this, haven't you? Yeah, I think I have getting better English uh, every day. <laughs> better English than me, mate. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Right, yeah. listen, okay. Nick, Nick, my coach, is like my English teacher as well. So, oh, so do you have English lessons? Yeah, with Nick, my coach and my English teacher. It is bo- it is, is that both. because you're playing the game and learning English? Or do you yeah. actually just sit there and learn English no, as well? I just learn English because I need to learn. <laughs> because I understand nothing what the people say. They say, I need to learn. Please, Nick, help me. When I arrived in Amsterdam, he said, how is your flight? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> I don't up, right? up, yeah. Well, there's plenty of things to give a thumbs up about now, isn't it? You She's off about the drafts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off topic, but you need some like English speaking TV shows to watch, and like that's how most people learn on the continent, right? Anyway, what sorry, do you, what do you recommend in terms of TV shows for him? I, I don't have time to watch. Tell you what to watch: the FC Pro Open Final. Keep <laughs> watching that. And you'll enjoy every minute of <laughs> it. PHC is literally smiling and nodding at you going, I have no idea what this man <laughs> yeah. from up north is saying. He'll learn uh, though. Yeah. He'll anyway. learn very quickly by the looks of things. Drafts. drafts. Let's talk about the drafts. <laughs> so let's start with you, Levy. Did you make any mistakes with your... Oh, I can mm. see the emotion on your face. I need to think about that. Because it's difficult, right? Because it's, do you get much time to even play with these players? Especially if you, you've been in the group of death, your turnaround time to the finals was super quick. I think I made a really good decision in the second game week for me to put Toti Haaland up front. I was the only one who did that. And yeah, he just dunked like Michael Jordan on everyone. Like he just <laughs> dunked on them. I scored a crazy amount of goals because of him. I think that was a really good choice. In the end, a bad choice in that week was playing God and Mbappe. He was horrific. Like he was so bad. But in the end, I got nine points that week. Uh, managed to get to the finals. And I think... For me, the requirements were pretty solid. Although I had a man, again, Manu Bachora, complaining about his draft requirements in week one because he had the full icon one. Yeah. And I will still hear that, uh, I think, till I die. For me, the draft <laughs> requirements were excellent. You enjoyed everything, yeah. <laughs> P18, did you have a favorite player that you were using throughout in the drafts? Yeah, I would say Mbappe. But yeah, <laughs> but I feel also bad when the... The, the, the two week, the last week for me in the probe, I have a bad choice. I put Vero. Oh, <laughs> Vero, yeah. yeah. But he could, he scored a lot to Vero. <laughs> yeah, I scored a lot to Vero with him. But I mean, like, I don't know if I, I did like the good choice with Pele and her. Yeah. I think I need to more players defend well, you know, Veron don't don't defend nothing. He just rebel. <laughs> yeah, I think it was that's it. Our drafts yeah. were so different. So me and Frankie were building our drafts. And, and you know what? When you build your community draft, or the, the people in the community build their draft, they think, my draft is so, so good. And then we look at yours. I know we've got no players that are the same. We're going to start talking about Paul's calls, wasn't it? <laughs> Why are we talking about Paul's calls, you guys? <laughs> Who's been, uh, who's been creeping on my about Paul Scott? Look, well, <laughs> this could go out of context quick, by the way. So why, why would you like to speak about Paul's goals? 
I don't know. I heard something about it. Like someone choose him in the draft. I don't know why. <laughs> don't look at me, Frankie. <laughs> Listen, okay. I just even this week I put both goals <laughs> on my bench. Well, this week as well. <laughs> yeah, put him on my bench. What? Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Paul Scholes has you on the payroll. All like right? blue items. My like SBC icons and Paul Scholes. <laughs> But no, no, hold on a minute. So, do you no, want to I talk about Paul why. Scholes? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Let, what, what's the reason for you picking Paul Scholes? Okay, so like I'm older than you lot, and in the nineties, I really had a thing for Paul Scholes. <laughs> I mean, I was too young to know what a thing was. In which way? Like on the pitch, I or just, it's okay, looks? So like in the nineties, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the nineties, Paul Scholes was the super sub of like of the England team. Obviously, playing, doing his work for Man United, but like. He would come on for England and he would make an impact. I also really like Gingers. I would beat her 25 nil, you know, <laughs> I would on this game. Her draft you. was horrendous. We'll see if we can get it on the street. Well, no, my, it, yeah. my draft this week was not horrendous. You had Paul Scholes on the bench. That's all I need to say. Yeah, on the bench. You've got an unlimited budget. <laughs> You've got to be spending on. 10 million on every single player, right? Unlimited right? budget, so fun. I spent like 120 million on my budget this week. Yeah, it's And I mean, then, like, MTK on Paul Scholes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Levy just looks so so disappointed. Let's go to that. Let's go to that game then, shall we, Levy? Let's talk about the penalty shootout. So, yeah. how did you feel? Because when it gets to penalties, it is literally just. Do you do much preparation for it? Right, you obviously do your research. No, no, no you can't prep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've you lost penalties so many times. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Obviously, you hope you win. It just All you lost. can do is like try to get into his head. And I don't know. It, it is a bit weird though. Like sometimes you just know when you save it. Like okay, I'm into his head. I had that against Umu, to be honest. But I've had several times where I missed my first one and I asked Renzo, I have no idea where to shoot anymore. <laughs> like, there are five options. I think if I shoot top left, bottom left, top right, it's all going to miss. Like, he will save it, like, 100%. So, like, penalties is a bit of luck, obviously. But it feels even better when you win it, not going to lie. Is it a deliberate choice from you, Levy? To not celebrate until you've won the match. Because when your goals go in, yeah, you, you don't celebrate. You stay so straight faced. Is it like that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're are like, calm. Even the, even Peter Zin's agreeing there. He's so calm, right? You yeah. score and you're like, I go to him a little bit. You need to scream, bro. Scream, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, I think when you are just really confident, maybe, and focused, it obviously depends on the style. This guy is screaming a lot. <laughs> but if you look to, for example, the likes of Nicolas. They don't, mm -hmm. like, show anything of emotion. I think when I play on my best, it's like that. And then after the referee has blown the whistle, you can see some emotions, obviously. But during the game, I just try to stay focused. Also, I think the 3-2 escort against Umut, Renzo was, like, standing up and shouting. And I was like, bro, calm, still seven minutes <laughs> to be played. But, yeah, especially in this game where there are so many goals, like, kickoff, kickoff. He played 6-5, mm -hmm. like, a goal is not worth that much. So I can start celebrate. Then I sit down, I concede. And then I'm like, F <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apologies, by the way, for the language. But it is, it's, it's, we'll it's just we're not all. live. We can bleep it out. Oh, yeah, you can just bleep that out. Actually, we'll play a replay. Right now. That'll be pretty I cool. didn't say nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nothing was said. It but was like, what was the live audience like? Because for us as, as hosts and presenters, we, we were loving it. They added so much, didn't they, to the show? I mean, your family <laughs> were half the audience, PH, then. Yeah. Just it's, like the people behind you. Like, what did it? make you feel was was it better yeah. for you or? yeah i said for nick like i can imagine this in not in my best dream like i bring my family and i win the trophy <laughs> so yeah it's incre incredible and, and how often do you get to see your family now because obviously you're in europe are they in europe too or are they in south america yeah he's in europe in my home in uh, in uh, groningen Once oh in yeah. groningen yeah. you know, know right they have a football team called Groningen, I think. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah, know Groningen? It's, yeah. it's in the Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah. Um, what about your family? So how much have yeah. they supported you, your family and like, friends as well? My, yeah, my dad is my biggest supporter. <laughs> like, at this time, Ajax PSV was played as well. So my brother, he is in the stadium. He was just watching on his phone, like, mm -hmm. to my game. And yeah, they uh, support me a lot. Like, they are more nervous than I am, I think. And yeah, I got so many messages after I beat Umut. And yeah, obviously feels amazing. And also the crowd here, like, showing that they are really fans and they want a picture and maybe even a signature. Yeah, it means a lot for me. It's just playing from home. You don't get that attention. And getting that attention now obviously feels great. 
You deserve it all. I mean, that shout out to the crowd, by the way. They were so, so good. And You're the Twitch chat. because they were asking for photos with you. They asked me for a couple and Frankie was exposing me every time as well. I was like, I obviously I did. was like, you're sort of. She was, she was running around word. screaming my name, which was very awkward. And it doesn't help that you're in a purple I jumper. Have never um, seen your we have got a quiz. Oh. A little quiz for you. Did you guys know about that? No, That's we've set them up. Absolutely like love to see it. No? That is exactly no, right. Okay, course, so. We'll do, uh, we'll do flip-flop questions between me and you. Do you want to go first? Flip-flop questions. You what mean it says there, we're going to alternate question. who's asking the questions? I literally have just we're read gonna the We're going to just iPad. ask questions like, do you call them thongs or flip-flops? <laughs> listen, listen. Flip-flop questions, as it says on the iPad. I've never heard that, but I like sound Is it the first right. time during the entire podcast you have read your script, have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have got to, listen, we've gone on a tangent, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments. Um, do you want to ask the first one, or should I? Uh, go for it. Flip. Oh, okay, right. Well, flop. the first question, flip, I'll go... For Wait, you. is it? Is oh, it? Ask it for you, oh, right? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Actually. We're meant to ask Levy first. You know what? You question Levy, I'll question Oh, yeah, it says, let's thing. start with you, Levy. All right, we'll start with Levy then, shall we? <laughs> All right, Levy. What version of the previous game did you first fall in love with? Mm. Like, what was a year? Was there a year or like special? Nah, I think like when I was maybe three years old, my brother just put a controller in my hands and said, play. You just play. Maybe I even played as the CPU. I don't know. Maybe you just <laughs> let me play. I, I thought I played as a CPU, but I think... 12 I think 2012 or something and obviously the game I started competing was like 21 because then I was 16 so that was obviously the best season for me so far because I could finally compete but for now 24 is looking like a pretty good season as well so maybe this will become my favorite uh, favorite year well hopefully shout out to FC 24 well flop oh okay cool well am I gonna I'm gonna ask this to you Vizin how many hours do you practice every day Oh, that's question. I think uh, I practice a lot. Like I think during the week, like I know have a FC Pro Open a Saturday and need to train almost all the day. So I think more than 10 hours. How many? 10? Yeah. A day? Yeah. That's why he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and play FC 24 <laughs> for 10 hours. I need more than that. I need, <laughs> I need 26 hours. And make that what you will. Seven of those hours opening packs. Yeah, absolutely. And getting nobody. Right. Okay, Levy. <laughs> Which pro has given you your hardest time during the tournament, would you say? Ooh. I mean, in terms of anything, really, even if it's just like... During this moment. tournament? Yeah, during this tournament. We can go back to, the, obviously, the group of death. I would, I would say Oberun. Yeah. Because course. those games were stressful. Like, the first week he won 3-2. The last week I won 5-4. It was just, like, we never got a two-goal lead over each other. Like, never. It was like 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2. And I was like, can this guy... Please stop and give me a two, two goal lead once, but he didn't allow it. And I also think he's the type of player who doesn't give you a breath because he just stays on you, stays on you. Uh, but luckily, I beat him in the second week, which guaranteed me uh, to go through. So I would say he was the hardest opponent for me also because I played him twice. Um, and obviously Anders I lost too, but I felt like Ogun was like tougher to stay in. It was like a game of chess two times, but... I'm not good at chess, so <laughs> that was not my favorite. But in this game, I, I was pretty pretty solid against him as well. Well, you were good at FC24, and I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> hey? I'm going to ask you, Vich Zayn, how do you fix your mistakes? Like passing errors in game. Oh, this is hard. How I fix my mistake, yeah? Mm. I think this is work for my coach. <laughs> he <laughs> say, coach yeah, he say like you cannot do this anymore, bro. Please, like I did one mistake against Anders in the final. I consider they go in the forty-five minutes. I always consider goals in the forty-five minutes. He say don't pass too much for the the front. Just keep the time. And I did the pass, and I consider the goal. And he said, don't worry, <laughs> because it's. I think in his mind, he said, if I say you did mistake, I mean, I get me angry, you know? So, yeah, I think it's more from him, look, my mistakes. Blame the coach, I love it. It's <laughs> on to you. Coach PA's in, but how do you coach him, right? Okay, I'll ask you a question, but it'll be to do with like FC24 items. Winter wildcard promo? Have you got a favourite? Item during Winter Wildcard. I mean, that, we had icons during them, right? I think I have to say Puteas. Oh, yeah, oh, of course. I love her so much. Like you, The way you play with her, you, you can like Travella with her, you can go down the line with her. And I see also. Yeah, the same as yeah, well, right? Yeah, crazy. 
He's great. Makes it very versatile. For and her. also because everybody is playing the 4-3-2-1, like everybody, she's like the perfect for that left centimeter. Yeah, I agree. In my formation, the balanced one. There's no better player for that position because she can defend. She's good in attack, five star, five star. Just the best player in the game for that position. Yeah, it's been a really, really good addition actually having um, the women's game into FC24. I'm going to buy Patelas, win a wild card because Levy likes her. So <laughs> that's what's going to happen. All right, next. Next. Uh, so, how do you break the opposition's press, PH then? When you're playing against someone like Emre, <laughs> yeah. how do you stop them pressing you? I think he, this is helping me a bit because I play against him in uh, this week also in the Tuesday in the ADVC. So I say, like, I think I'm more confident than him. And then, yeah, I play like one perfect game, I would say that. I defend her very well. Also, the analyst, analyst for Nick at yeah, the yeah, game, nice. yeah, it's, it's very nice. So, yeah, I, f I think Nick, it's like 50% this, this one. Interesting. You actually missed the question there. So, it you went missed flip, other flip. Questions. Did I really? You missed like so many questions. Oh, yeah, we right? both missed it. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll ask you another question. Levy, we, quick had one. To, we had to keep going. This was meant to be quick fire, and instead, yeah, we're having so much fun with you. Really guys. lovely you. philosophical answer. We're not going to keep you too, too long. That's why it's not a, too much. You don't call it a flip flop, you call it a quick fire. Yeah, you talk way too much. Anyway, <laughs> domestic. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a question that I think everybody watching wants to know, right? What are your tips for defending? As a player, ah, you're, uh, you're good at defending master. as well. Yeah. You're very. I very get this good. question so many times. Yeah, because <laughs> everyone wants to know, <laughs> mate. But Renzo also asked me, like he says, if I could defend like you when I was playing, like as a pro, I would have made World Cups and <laughs> such. I then I argue, I don't know if that would have happened, but I think it's just, I would say, a feeling. Maybe that's arrogant to say, but I'm not really, yeah, focusing or something on something specific. I just defend and it seems like I'm defending better than most of the people uh, I don't know I think I am pretty well at pressing high as well and then also one for one defending and I'm I think it has to do a little bit with like football in real life I played on a pretty high level as like a midfielder so I always try to cover certain passing lanes and such and just think logic how I thought about football in real life and I think that's just the thing what I do when I'm defending and it works. So he's a baller on the real pitch, on the virtual pitch. It's just not fair, is it? No. To be honest. Well, you listen, thank him. you guys. You believe in him? Oh, do you not believe him? Have you watched him play football? Yeah, no, I believe I read about side, Can he yeah, play football? I good. don't know, Nick. <laughs> I think he can play. He won't be the quickest, I think. But Listen, we've no. got like some balls here. So if you want to show yeah. your skills off. No, you, no, we can't ruin this me, set. We won't do that to you today. Me in the prime? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so good. You know yeah. what? I reckon he's got a, little, so a bit of samba. You know, <laughs> you should what have. Player yeah. are you like? What's your what, what player would you say you like? Vinicius Junior. Oh my oh <laughs> gosh! Are you really? Fun? That is the maddest call. <laughs> in my prime. Base. In my prime. When, yeah. Uh, now I am like R nine for Corinthians. Now I'm chubby, cannot run anymore. <laughs> so he's going from Vinny <laughs> Junior to R nine. Well, you know what you are, mate. You're a serial winner. Thank you so much for joining us, <laughs> Levy. Thank you. Listen, we're gonna have to run this. So we're gonna have to have like a special version of the full chemistry on the yeah, virtual sure. pitch. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank really you. Thank you. FG, thank you. For the thank you for this. Off you go. Take your trophy <laughs> with you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for our guest again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To have that much energy after a tournament like that is crazy. It's yeah. mad. Oh, well, now we've got rid of the people who can actually play FC24. I'm still there. Yeah. So anyway, they're gone. So we should probably talk about what's coming up. Yeah, in we've the world of FC Pro. So much. I mean, the next episode of Full Chemistry, we're going to preview the partner leagues, yeah, the competitions leading up to the world finals in June. EMLS. Yeah. E Premier League. Exactly. E Serie A. E Champions League. La Liga. Ligoon. Is it Ligoon or is it League One? Ligoon. Comebol e Libertadores. <laughs> what, what did you say? E League One. No, what is, so did you say something e in French? E League Un. Um. Okay, well, there you go. The E League Un. Um. And the KPN. <laughs> Eddie Vizzi as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like we've had such a good nine weeks, yeah. but the fun's just getting started. I'm really excited for Eli Pizzatoris, right? Because PH then, he's gone over to Eddie Vizzi. He's already booked his spot in the World Championships. 
And now Young can take his place as the number one in Brazil. And I was talking to him and his coach, Gabriel. They're both called Gabriel. It's slightly confusing, but bear with me. I was talking to Gabriel, the coach, and he was saying, oh, well, you know, we can't count things. And I was saying, he's top eight. He's playing against the best players in the world. Surely one of those two spots is going to open up for him and Ila Pesadores and get him to the world finals. There's going to be so many surprises. I'm looking at the Premier League, of course, because of Manchester City. My boy Come Tex, Matty. Tex. They did really well in the openers, but then it's time for that. Are we going to lift it? Man City have won it before. Shells has won it before. Um, oh, yeah, for CPFC. I know how much it means Shells to Shells will be doing it for CPFC this well, exactly. time. Exactly. So that's the thing, because if City don't win, I'm supporting Shells as well, Yeah. because he's he's amazing. And like, we love Shells, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be really, really good and really fun. I can't wait. I'm so excited. That's coming up in March. So I'm looking forward to getting down for that one. I need my throat to recover, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> fine. In fact... Talking of speaking, I probably run out of juice, FG. I don't know about you. I mean, yeah, I mean, my voice isn't that bad, <laughs> but yours has been quite bad for a few weeks, and this is the best it's been, right? Yeah, yeah, you've like literally hot carried me. I've really enjoyed watching you guys on the sofa. I haven't been bitter and twisted at all. I've just, it's been such a good show, I can't even be mad about it. I'm just like, oh, this is great. You've I've definitely so played your it. part. So it's been great. I mean, look, that's, I think. That's time for us to wrap up the first episode, would you say? Exactly, yeah, because you've got to go to a football match. Apparently the gym as well tomorrow. She's exposing all my plans. I'm going to go watch Chelsea Well, the Chelsea thing is, if I don't tell City people you're going to go to the gym, you won't go. So I'm holding him accountable. I'm not going to the gym. Hold him accountable in the comments. I'll go everyone. to the gym and see if they've got like a vending machine. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, let us know in the comments down below what your cheat meal would be, because I'm having one of them tomorrow <laughs> without going to the gym. But yeah, thank you. Um, very, very much for Yeah, uh, remember, for like, comment, subscribe to Full Chemistry from wherever you get your podcasts. And obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, you can comment on FG's fade, his height, what you think of this classic white T-shirt and jacket combination <laughs> that's been worn by him, Richard Buckley, Ryan Pessoa, and Brandon Smith over the past nine weeks of the FC Pro Open action. And obviously, Ryan Pessoa wore it the best. And I will definitely be wearing a white t-shirt next time. So we'll see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.